What's up, everyone? Welcome to the February 28th edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. And as a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. Today, we have a nice seven game slate, all the games starting by 8 p.m. Eastern. So, uh, a little bit easier late swap slate. You can actually chill after uh, the 8 o'clock games and not have to really worry about anything else. Um, but as always, be sure to tune in to the Deeper Dive and Live Before Lock for more up-to-date information and hopefully some more clarity on injury situations as we get closer to lock. But for now, taking a look at five of the top tournament options on DraftKings as things currently stand. Number five, Jalen Smith, $4,900, power forward and center eligibility, currently projected for 4% ownership with about a 6% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Indiana is shorthanded tonight. There's no Malcolm Brogdon. Lance Stevenson is doubtful. So we could see the rotation go in a variety of ways, but we've seen Jalen Smith still playing pretty healthy minutes, even as the team you know, has gotten healthier. Isaiah Jackson's been starting at center, but uh, Jalen Smith appears to be ahead of Goga Batadze in the rotation. Batadze played about one minute two games ago, played about 16 last game when Lance Stevenson was out. Uh, Jalen Smith has been in the mid-20s in both of those games, and he's... A little, a little more than a fantasy point per minute guy. Good matchup against Orlando. There's obviously risk here, and his price tag isn't too cheap at, at 4,900, but there is a path to success if he can get 26 or 27 minutes in this spot. Number four, Carl Anthony Towns, $9,800 center only on DraftKings, projected for 3% ownership with a 7% chance of being in the optimal lineup. This is a very difficult spot to get to Towns for one He's facing the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers, which we know is a difficult matchup. For two, he's a center, and we know that there's always a lot of opportunity cost at the center position. And three, he's in an absolutely loaded price range at $9,800. You have John Morant at $9,700. You have... Uh, you have Shea Gildas Alexander at 9,600. DeJounte Murray, not that much more expensive at 10,600. So there's a lot of options in this price range, and that's why Towns ownership is so low. But at the same time, Towns is someone that in a competitive game is likely to give you around 35 minutes, and he's likely to average around 1.4 DraftKings points per minute. So still a very high upside option at low ownership. Number three, Mo Bamba sticking at the center position, $4,700 taking on the Indiana Pacers and their banged up front court. He's projected for 9% ownership with a 12% chance of being in the optimal lineup. We know that Bamba's uh, minutes, Bamba's playing time um, has been all over the place recently. And then even in his last game, he played 25 minutes and was extremely disappointing against the Houston Rockets. But at $4,700, he does still project pretty well. If he happens to get 25 to 26 minutes again, overall this season, he's averaged 1.02 DraftKings points per minute. The matchup here is not bad. This game is likely to be high scoring. Orlando has a very healthy 117 implied total. So taking some shots on a relatively low on Bamba in tournaments makes a lot of sense. Number two, Tyrese Halliburton has point guard and shooting guard eligibility. He's $8,600, currently projected for 13% ownership with a 16% chance of being in the optimal lineup. Halliburton benefits from the absence of Malcolm Brogdon. In the four games he's played with the Pacers without Brogdon, Halliburton's averaged around 38 minutes per game. He has about a 21.5% usage rate, about a 37% assist percentage, and we should once again just see the offense run through Halliburton in a favorable spot tonight against the Orlando Magic. And number one, Anthony Edwards, $7,000 shooting guard and small forward eligibility. Edwards is projected for 11% ownership with a 17% chance of being in the optimal lineup. He has a difficult matchup against Cleveland, as mentioned before with Towns, but Edwards is likely to give you 34 or 35 minutes if this game's competitive. He's a high upside player, has around the 27% usage rate in the games that he's played with D'Angelo Russell and with Carl Anthony Towns this season. And his salary is just falling because of a few disappointing performances recently. The ceiling is certainly still there for Edwards at only 11% ownership. So to recap, the top five options on DraftKings as things currently stand, number five, Jalen Smith, number four, Carl Anthony Towns, number three, Mo Bamba, number two, Tyrese Halliburton, and number one, Anthony Edwards.